Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back. Fett plays the darkest dungeon. Last time, love it. She, it be girl, Ramus, and Albert went into the courtyard and burned down some hives and flushed out another boss. Didn't level up the courtyard, but uh, it's one of them recurring boss dudes that uh, recur recurringly in a recurring fashion. Uh, we are going to send Vatvil, Osman, Gry, and Carteret to unoccur them. Let's see how that works out for us. I kind of want to switch to Sure Shot here. Uh, if I were to give one up, though, the best one to give up would probably be the kill. Only because Vital Snipe can hit the first three. Piercing Arrow obviously hits everyone. Uh, but Sure Shot cannot hit the front row. So to me, that makes sense. In, in some way, shape, or form. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's got to be last. So, sure shot, piercing arrow, vital snipe, change arsenal. Let's we'll see how that works out for us. Okay, I mean, I think it's going to work out fine. It's Carter, it, but, you know, you know how it is. All right, Vatville, my frontliner here today. We're going to build you... We're going to build you with some healing? I don't know, maybe. I do like your stress healing. He's really good at that, at least when he can... When he can manage to get a kill from someone else, he takes all the kills. Let's give you the service medal. You lose a little bit of dodge, but you gain a ton of accuracy for it. Uh, Osman's really easy to equip because he has some amazing things. On hit, knockback with extra powder. You know, it says on hit, not on melee hit, so <laughs> it works with his headbang. Um, HP damage received, damage reflection. I kind of... You know, I thought that was actually usable. I'm not smart. All right, all right. But uh, it's, it's happened before. It'll happen again, too. I'll mistake that again in the future, probably. I don't want you to have 28 health. Now that I think about it. Right, you can uh, you can come by with a little bit more health than that. Get this t extra tongue out of here. All right. No food consumed. Extra. Less chance of being surprised. I can get it right. All right, Carter. Mm, matchstick. Seems really good. The Electrum Besieger. You're like the one person who uses it. The Light Eater is free damage here. Uh, you know, actually, let's move over here because I like putting the Grimoire over here. Uh, he only has 25 health, which I'll admit is not a lot. And this is slightly concerning. He'll probably be okay. Uh, Tops is more valuable than the War Soul Key. And I think the Shackles is more valuable than the Fuseman's Matchstick. Oh, that one's a little little bit of a close call. I think that's that's the optimal order here. For Gry, let's give you... Hmm. I mean, she's great at stress relief and getting a little bit of heal. She also does um, Blight and Bleed Cure built in. You know, let's give you a prot on friendly skill. I like that idea. That way you can heal, well, yourself. Um, actually, you can literally heal yourself if I give you this. And I think that's good. You already clear horror built in, so I don't need to worry about that. So maybe I just give you some healing done and then offset that extra stress with the Carnival Mask, you know? I think that sounds pretty good. It's a little little bit of a different strat, but I think it's going to work out for us. Uh, mm, what else, though? That's where it gets a little tricky. Tempted to give you some health. I want to give the Last Light Martyr's Halo to Vatville. That's why I haven't thrown it down right away yet. Give extra stress healing done. Which is a little tempting. I could give you the rattle of the drums. You're probably going to be doing friendly skill more often. So it does kind of make more sense to give that to Gry instead of to Vatville. Osman, let's give you the Wadden Sword, Wadden Horse combo. It'd be pretty great. You can get some extra damage too. So here, have a War Soul Key. Have a Handy Flare. I realize I didn't give one to Carteret. I don't think he needs one. I could be wrong. Don't think I am though. 
All right, a little bit um, more accuracy and crit chance, and then give me some stun chance as well. Get that up in there, and then Vatville, you'll get the doot doot. You'll get the last light, you'll get the martyr's hay, and then we'll be having a good time, you know? No, 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 don't. Don't do this to me. There it is. All right. <laughs> don't do this to me. Don't make me miss it. Two million times again. Here, think of Bloodstained Gambison too. You can use some extra health. And I guess you'll get the Fuseman's Match Stick because you could use it too. Yeah, that works out. And here, have some Skaven Dice. All right. Let's go take on a Falling Guardian. I feel like we've beaten this enemy before, but yeah, it's all right. I uh, probably don't need nine keys. Especially since they're not really that useful here. All right. I think we got everything we need. Let's go bash in a... The statue. I am incredibly curious to see if we can kill it in one hit. I don't think we can, but if we can, I'd like to. <laughs> it'd be fun, y'all. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Okay, here we go. We got the. Uh, oh yeah, that's why you've been to the dankest dungeon. So, um, hey, it's a pretty straightforward march. You know, if we'd gotten a scout, I might have considered going the other path, but apparently the game didn't want that, so that's fine. A handsome reward Yo, you got a, for a task red well costume? Performed. No. You got a green one, though, right? I mean, that's a little too green. Alright. Pink's pretty good, too. Uh, okay. I mean, that kind of matches more. You have a green? Mmm, no. You have this. Uh... Carter, man, I can barely imagine you in anything but the purple, to be honest with you. Although his default, his first two are green. He looks good in purple, though. Nah, I hate it. Uh... Hmm. If this was just a little more purplish, I think it would work out well. But, no, nah, Bombard doesn't get costumes. I mean, he probably could. Dude. That royal-ass purple. Man is ready to rock. Okay, speaking of rocking, let's get ready to party in the house tonight. Like the party rockers we might be. Okay, so Sure Shot is just regular ass damage. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, I can get a guaranteed kill by using Sure Shot. That's the thing, though. Decimated. So, how could I not? Mm, hi there. Would you take a stun, please? Please? Thank you. Appreciate that. And then we'll go ahead and get the Iron Embrace going on. Why not? More damage. And some reflection to boot. Hey, buddy. I'll see you up front. How you doing? You having a good time? What are you going to do? Give up your prot? Nope. He's going to gather some blood. And an immediate Crimson Curse. Well, nope. Lucked out, I guess. Enjoy your reflection, by the way. I'm just gonna heal that back up. You don't gotta worry about that. Do it again. And then one more. All right. Lashut Juice is ready to go. Um, I mean, 100% crit chance. How can I not? That vital snipe, though. That headbang, though. Ooh, baby. Dude, is this team just too good? They might be too good. They're really, really good. Press this advantage. Really good. Give them no quarter. God damn. Seize this momentum. Okay. Push on to the task's end. We're seizing. Give me all that momentum, baby. You know, there's probably a mod that gives a bunch of different costume colors. A bombard. There usually is. Usually, what happened? Okay, hi. Oh. Mind that such. I thought that was gonna be like something. Exception. Never mind. And not the rule. Usually, what happens is that a mod comes out. Mm, these aren't that bad. All right. Mm, those are pointless. So I guess that's the worst one. It's not even that bad. But a new mod, new character mod comes out, and then like five minutes later, someone else comes in gives you like 14 different palette swaps for it 
That's not a complaint, just an observation. In fact, it's quite nice. I like the idea of people just trolling the, uh... Hi. Trolling around the... Steam Workshop, looking for new characters to color. Just give them, like, every single shade of the rainbow. And everything in between. Beautiful. I mean, after all, variety. Spice of life, right? That's why you gotta use some different moves every once in a while. Um... Why do I have on my target equipped, even? Uh, use this. You know what? I didn't give you a... Inspiration. A key. And I should have given you the life soul key. That was my bad. Oh, thanks. Great. Mm -hmm. That one's, uh, pretty bad. That minus three speed is actually awful. So thanks for that. Appreciate it. Love you, too. You gonna give a disease as well? Nope. Didn't even try. We can pray. Okay, he's going after Osmond. Remember this when Osmond shoots back. Because he will. Alright, so... He did not use the entanglement. We used the gun, which gives a percentage damage boost. As opposed to a raw damage boost. Got to remember that it's important. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. That was a lot of garbage. Hey, double scout, nice. Eh, it's a curio. It doesn't even have a battle in there, according to this. Why would we even want him? Hello, decorated chevalier. How you doing today? All right, who do we take on first? I mean, I feel like the chevalier is just a bigger source of damage, but he's also like literally not a source of of the curse like he cannot give you the curse Obliterated. that wasn't even a crit that's just 53 damage because why not oh my god blow. dude crushing it over here literally all right Give me the, uh, quantum entanglement or whatever this is called. Iron Embrace. Well, that was some good timing. Ow. Mmm. Oh, that doesn't look pretty. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Looks like blood. And you do not have a lot of health to bleed. Just throwing that out there. So, yeah, I probably need to keep you bandaged up. Uh, nice and pretty-like. Uh, give him a vital sniper. The bigger the beast. Thank. The greater the glory. Uh. <laughs> bye. Destroyed. You just keep shooting. Ghoulish horrors. Yeah. Brought low and driven into the mud. Yeah, it's what he does. Brings them ghoulish horrors slow. Yo, y'all give me like a. Uh, I was gonna say shambler fight, but you know what I mean. You want to give me the uh, doppelganger? This would be a good time for it. Just saying, we're ready. Freddy. Nah, you're going to give me a big bug instead. All right. That's fine, too, I guess. I mean, I don't like the two following up, following it up. Of skill and Heck, I hate those the most. So let's see if we can do something about it. We're not going to get a one-turn kill on the big boy, by the way. Precision. And the uh, statue, unless we get a battle in the hallway before we fight it. I don't know why. I thought that was the hives move and not the sycophants. My brain playing tricks on me, I guess. Uh, you know what? Give him the business. Impressive. How did you get a blight? What the heck? Did I accidentally put you in blight? There it is. Yeah, it's the stuff. Okay, whatever game. Did I give you the wrong... Are you on bleeding arrows? I'm confused. That's probably the case. Ah, I should have used the stress relief. Oh, well. We'll be fine, probably. Thanks. All right. Give me the power. The four heals also pretty good. Uh, yup, I did. Ah, nards. I had him on the wrong one. Gotta keep him on armor piercing. Annihilated. 
And that's why. Cordy Prot? Never heard of him. Success so clearly in okay. view. Or is it merely a trick scout. of the light? Dang it, dang it, dang it. All I wanted was a scout. It's all I really asked for. And you couldn't even thanks for the meat. Um and the ferrets. I'll take the ferrets. Cause I have class. Anyway. Hey! Keep that jazz out of here. Some of the extra accuracy. Damn it. Ah, no extra fight. Oh well. Well, we're definitely not killing it in one turn. The Hamlet cannot stand for this thing that should not be. Defeated. Really? You give up the prot right away, huh? Prize it guards. All right. Well, I guess the guard, not the prot. Either way, that works out for us, though, because uh, that gives Carter the ability to vital snipe him. Which, uh, not the best move, you know? Not really the best thing you could have done, given us, you know, the strongest move in the arsenal. Well struck. Nice try, Satan. But we dodged your shit. Um, concuss him. Ow. That's fine. All right. We'll two turn this son of a. I don't know why I censored myself from saying bitch. Like it's something wrong with the word. All right, it's a word. It can't hurt the stone. Ow. That can though. All right, we're fine. Less fine, but still fine. Please don't move her back. I don't think you can. We're fine. Hatred beyond time. He just sits there and hates. That's what he does. No. Hey. He's like that quiet guy at your office party. Just sits there and quietly hates everyone else. Thinking, why was here? Well, to be fair, you didn't have to come, buddy. It was optional. Bubbling. You're not going to get marked down on your progress report. Probably. If you are, you should probably leave. I'm just saying. Enjoy your 189. But I fear there may be no end to this bloodborne Ooh. evil. Single coin for the bombard. HP and accuracy and extra damage and crit on large enemies. Neat. All right, we're done. Um, I mean, we might as well go back and look at some other rooms, huh? I, I, two turns, fine, right? That's good enough. Enough for a little bit of adventure and fun. More importantly, this unlocked the Viscount for this area, which is, you know, the important part. Stress-wise, I think we're doing all right for the most part. Carter, of course, brought his snacks, so he doesn't need to eat. He just has, like, a tin with a little bit of jerky in it, I assume. Five strips of jerky, good enough. It'll take us through. I mean, right now, he's kind of hungering for some blood, because, you know, he's got the insect vampirism. That's okay. He'll be fine, probably. Yeah, I'm noticing the little things right now. Uh, 110. I mean, you got 100 up here, but the this is where the most strap... You know what? I'll take the risk. Paid off. I like the way the bombarder holds onto his belt when he walks. That's a very casual walk. Dude looks like he's done this like 2 million times. It's like, well, yeah, this is boring at this point. I've, you know how many times I fought fortune giant... Waiting to be spent vampire mosquitoes don't even get me started but do this for 25 years just need to put the gunpowder in the right spot let it go have a good time let me tell you good story you want know, to talk about something difficult let's talk about them statues that aren't in this season now those are hard to blow up should really take the bombard next time I take that mod. Uh, speaking of statues and stonework. Gargoyles! I've been fighting gargoyles since I was your granddaughter's age. Let me tell you. Think this is difficult? 
Here is some two bombs can't answer. Duh, you thinking wrong. Eradicated. And you just go and shoot them. No class with this generation, let me tell you. Executed. No class at all. Um, hey, how about you don't guard? Oh wait, that can't that's can't be guarded. Never mind, wrong one. Eh, hey, doesn't matter. You're dead. As the fiend falls. Sure, thanks for the stress relief. The faint hope blossoms. And thanks for the stress. Yep. Daggad, she's staring at me with her eyeballs. How dare? Get out of my house. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Hey. That should have given up the citrine for the jade, but I didn't. All right, so now you're going to give me my doppelganger summon, right? No, not yet. All right. Yeah, throw some herbs on this. The herbs cleanse the Iron Maiden for some reason. I don't know. You just carrying around a bottle of Clorox or something? That seems like it would make more sense than rubbing some leaves on it. I'm just just saying you know anyway uh get the hell out of my house Destroy that felt good all. like busting oh baby they get a bustin yeah dang he busted all over that manservant don't quote me ow all right well that was that was great. He swung your little little cape around a bit. It was very beautiful. Now please face the wall. Thank you. Go ahead and get some song of our people here. Get us that stress. Well, that horror relief, I should say. And then we spin our arrow once. We spin our arrow twice. We spin our arrow thrice. And then we shoot the juice. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Nice. Good old 69 doing it again. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Remember, everybody, overconfidence, something, something. We got a bowman. Hello? Anyone here? Hey. You know what? You could uh, burn some flowers. It'll make you feel better. Yeah. I mean... He's not an arsonist, but still, when a flower is here to be burned, he's happy to help. Hey, give me a little bit of that triple spin once again. Do we got a one-hit kill anywhere? Uh, yes. Prodigious size alone does not. What you get? The sharpened blade. Yeah, this is what I get. To do it again. So, I love Carter. It. He's so broken. He may be the most broken character I've ever had in this series, and that's saying something. Size has no intrinsic merit. Actually, unless inordinate no. exsanguination be considered a virtue. He's technically not. The tactician from season one or two, I don't remember, is still technically the most broken because he had a friendly skill that did not have a limited number of uses, so he could just use it again and again, switch stances. If he had these, my dude would be, like, literally capable of killing anything in one hit. It would be... Oh, my God. You see these numbers? Look at these numbers! A singular strike. I mean, Carteret has more DPS. A That's obvious. Victory, but a victory Thanks. nonetheless. Oh, now I get a scout. Thank God. What is that? I can't see the... Curio. Bounce over. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Uh, it's flowers. It's just flowers. We don't need no flowers. This crap out of here. You know what? You can get you out of here, too. Here, I'm, I'm feeling overconfident. Let's get rid of the Crimson Curse now. And then make fun of them. So much for your curse! Yeah, ugly pin cushions. This expedition at least promises success. That was a styling on him. All right. Encore accolades for the ringmaster. I mean, plus four speed. That's cool. 
some eh, 20 something gold. Ah, it's a lot of disease. Heart rot, my favorite. Potent replace quick witted. I don't know if that's good. I mean, potent is good. He's got bleed and blight, technically. I gotta get rid of this, though. That's gotta go first. Uh, dancing eyes, 20% chance of random target. That's not great. Acute deafness, <laughs> minus 20% move and stun resist and less stress healing from inspiring tune and cry havoc. That's not cute at all. Uh, arrogant, nah, mate, that's a sting character. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Oh yeah, I forgot you also have the ague. Well, uh, cut straight on that because it's a little worse because the minus speed. Oh, Osmond, you get to go up here. Congrats, you're the only one who made it. You're also arrogant. This whole team is going to be arrogant. That's going to be great. Um, not allowed to gamble. Sucks at gambling. All right. Uh, this works for me. He's a bad gambler, so he started cheating. That's just what you do. You know? Uh, minus stress received if torch is in inventory. Well, considering we always have a torch, seems like a good thing to lock in. All right, get rid of this. And then, uh, on rot his heart. Thank you. Eh, I caught that blood before. No biggie. It's what you do sometimes, you know? Sometimes you cough up the blood. Sometimes the blood coughs up you. Don't listen to me. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of That Plays the Dogest Dungeon. Really short, but, I mean, we took Carter it out, so that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you feel free to subscribe for more, so keep coming. We'll stop coming. Next time, we're going to take on the Ravenous Viscount. Get a bent blade for the Duchess. Oh, more slapback damage for the Duchess. Let's go. Uh, that's going to be a good time. And then probably after that, we have to take on the Countess. But those are both probably going to be Team Evil missions. So if you like Team Evil, you're going to like the next couple episodes. Thanks again for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Thet, and I'll see you. In the next video, I just realized we have 699 crest. Nice. Everybody owes.